everyone. Today in the National Hockey League, there was another trade and it was another one for one deal. And it just feels so good because we've had two one for one deals in one week. And I'm almost wondering if that's a record. But all kidding aside, uh, the Edmonton Oilers traded Ryan Strom to the New York Rangers for Ryan Spooner. Kind of weird here. We've got two Ryans and they're also centers. And both have been vastly underperforming this year. Both each only have one goal and one assist. Now, a little bit of a difference here is uh, Ryan Spooner has had success in his career, uh, mainly with the Boston Bruins. Um, but he was traded to the New York Rangers last year as part of the Rick Nash trade around the trade deadline. Now, Ryan Strom, however, has not found um, the same success. He was drafted by the Islanders back in 2011, I believe, and uh, he struggled there. And then he was part of a one-for-one -one deal with Jordan Eberle, which at the time seemed like a fair, pretty fair trade, but Eberle's played really well for the Islanders. Uh, so for both of them, this is the second trade in the past year or so, which is crazy. Um, but this is another change in scenery trade. This is another filling needs trade. Um, Edmonton, I think, is on the verge of success sooner than the New York Rangers. Uh, the Rangers are definitely in rebuild mode, as you know we've seen in the past couple years. And um, you know, hopefully, Strom can fit in with that rebuild. In terms of Ryan Spooner, another thing to keep in mind is. Uh, and uh, Edmonton GM um, Peter Tigarelli actually drafted him uh, when he was with the Boston Bruins. So of course he's seen him play for a number of years and is aware of his skill set. So it's another great hot and one other thing to keep in mind too is um, the Rangers are retaining uh, part of Spooner's salary as part of the trade. Uh, but overall, I think it's another great hockey trade. I think it's another great change in scenery, another great opportunity for these two guys to really show what they're capable of. Um, these are two guys who can play both the center and the wing and can, you know, fill multiple roles on the team, can play on, you know, different lines depending on the situation. So I'm really interested to see how it pans out. I mean, I would, I would pr probably put this on par with the Hagelin, uh, Pearson trade from the other day. Um, so nothing crazy exciting, but just a good solid trade. Uh, please let me know your thoughts in the comments. Also make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful evening.